It's a perineum or a perineum. That's a perineum. what it's called. Yes. That, that's what it's called. What's it's it not, called? It's what not it? a taint. It's a perineum. However you want to, whichever. Are you talking about under your ball sack? Well, everybody's got it. Yeah. I don't. Yes, you do. Welcome to the Beacon House Podcast. Recorded live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Dylan said it was a chin rest. I don't know. Welcome to Beacon House Podcast. Uh, don't worry about that previous conversation of, about our anatomy. Um, we're, we're here to talk about a body of work that's completely different from the human physiology. And uh, before we get into it, we have a lot of special guests today, too. This is the one you guys have been waiting on. Uh, but before we get into it, let me introduce my co-host. Who's that sitting right over there? Say hey. It's Grace Steele. What's Grace, up, Spencer? How the fuck are you doing today, Grace? Doing really good. My foot hurts. Tell everybody real briefly... <laughs> What happened to you? Because you've experienced a thing. <sighs> gophers. <laughs> I fell in a gopher hole. I was running through my field chasing my dog. Uh, I live on like about six and a half acres of land, and he was chasing a critter, and I fell in a gopher hole. That sucks. And you, you broke your ankle or foot? Or ankle both? and foot. I broke the, I broke the small fe- uh, fib. Fibula, fibula, bone? tibula, fibula, fibula bone that connects. It, so it's in my ankle and then the lateral foot bone. Shit. And I tore ligaments. And they've got you in this boot. They got me in this hideous boot. Is it hard to walk in? It is, and I'm I'm on I'm no weight bearing. Fuck. Like I can't. I'm not supposed to stand on it. Can't move around. You're hopping around like a gopher. I am hopping around like a gopher. I'm moving Are more gophers? than I sh- probably should. Well, we're good. I there. don't know if gophers hop though. They do if you get after them. Listen. <laughs> I mean, I don't know from experience. Listen up, everybody. So, Grace, we hope you feel better. I'm sure I speak for our whole audience. We're, we're pulling for you. If you need anything, you can call on anybody here. We'll help you out. Everybody loves you. Um, now, getting on from there, we have some very special guests on the podcast today. We have a couple members from the band Burn the City, and we have one returning member. Dylan Chun is here. Dylan, say hey to everyone. Hey. If you go back in the Beacon House archives, uh, you will find Dylan on the D&D episode uh, yeah. into the breach. And also, if you go far enough back to the Christmas video, you will see Dylan in our Beacon House Christmas video from I a long time ago. About the Christmas video. That's right. You're in it. And then another man from the Christmas video, first appearance as a guest on Beacon House, the drummer for Burn the City, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brandon Lee. What's up, y'all? Say hey to Brandon Lee out there in TV land. What's up? What's up? So we got him. And we, the reason we were bringing a couple of these seasoned musicians in to do this episode is because we're, we're going to be talking about something that, that is important to bands. And that's the kind of beer you would have at a band practice. We're doing the cheap, basic beer, blindfold shootout right here on Beacon House. You came to the right place today. What's up? Woo! Woo! Ow! Well, I'm going to introduce somebody else before we get much further. Over in the corner, we've got a microphone way over in the corner next to where the action's happening, next to where the beer is. <laughs> By God, he's a legend. You've heard him on here a whole bunch of times. You've seen him at live events we've done. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brandon Hudson is in the house Ooh, over there. What's happening, guys? Yeah. Let's get it started. Now, Brandon, Brandon Hudson is playing the role of beer master. And what that means is he is going to select these beers. So here's why we're doing this. We're doing, so occasionally at band practice, we will have some beer. Hmm. But we don't go out and get like the little like IPAs that come in the little mug. That's not the kind of beer you have right. at a sweaty band practice. Well, talk about what makes a good band practice beer. Price. <clears throat> <laughs> Price. <laughs> Availability. What is, what is ever, what's ever in the fridge? Will you drink a warm beer at band Ugh. practice, or does it have to be cold? That's pretty good. It depends on, what, it depends on what it is. Are we talking about warm PBR? Or is there a, a warm beer that's acceptable? Is there? To me, I think is probably there? not. I say no. I would say no. No beer. But, I would say you know. no, yeah. So, yeah, and that's the thing is it kind of just whatever anybody shows up with. And we've had a variety of things. We've had Miller Lite. We've had Coors Light. We've had PBR. PBR kind of, to me, stands out as sort of one of the iconic, yep. like, like band room beers or like low rent beer. Like if you go out somewhere and you just want something that's easy to drink. Something like that. But it turns out there's a variety of things. So this is what we're doing today, the basic beer shootout. These are beers you can find at a gas station. (laughs) These are beers you can find at a grocery store without much fuss. These are typically not bottom of the barrel. So we didn't didn't do like Natty Light 
We didn't do like Milwaukee's best. You know, we didn't do Meister Brow, that shit. What's another frat party? Schlitz. Schlitz. We didn't do any of that shit. They still make that? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll we say also what makes a good band beer, like he said, like Dylan said, was availability. You can get these at a gas station. Yes. Gas stations are everywhere. That's right. You can't just buy a craft beer from the pilot. That's right. That's right. And that, that's kind of the idea here. Is we, generally, I'm a fan. I like good beers. And there are even some like craft beers I can drink. I can drink a couple IP. One of my favorites is The Last Days of Autumn. Uh, pardon my garden. They have it a couple places in town. Beer. I'm None of these are, though. Like These are all just your bottom of the barrel, like you said. This is some basic this stuff. Some like, basic. basic American domestics, yeah. What is the definition of a craft beer? I don't know. Like something... Um, Something that just tastes, basically doesn't taste like any of these. So let me read the list off real quick, real quick. These are the beers it's we're going to be reviewing today. The list Definitely is, not. and for the record, we, we, didn't include, we didn't include any light beers in this. Because now, we realize, for instance, like Coors. Coors Light is almost definitely pop, more popular than their full strength, <laughs> the fucking original banquet Coors. Uh, what our friend Brandon Cobb, shout out Brandon Cobb, it's the thing he likes to call Yellow Jackets, <laughs> the original Coors Banquet. But because light beers, typically uh, domestic light beers, Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, they're just so similar that for a taste test shootout, we figured mm. we would just they're go full. the same, yeah. yeah. So just be aware if you're listening, there are uh, definitely light versions of all of these, I think, almost certainly. If not, who cares? But... We're going to be reviewing, in no particular order, High Life, Coors, PBR, Rolling Rock, Yingling, Ice House, Budweiser, Bush, and the newcomer to the bunch that you're seeing everywhere in Montucky, the Cold Snack. Don't, which is I basically, don't know that one. You don't? No, not that one. It's a blue can. Yeah, it's like, it's like brand new. But to answer your question, what is considered yeah. a craft beer? It is any brewery company that is not big. Like a small... No, it's all small. <laughs> My follow-up question, what to find, what to find big? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Now that's an opinion Grace, all on their Grace, own. <laughs> Grace Steele, calm down over there. So anyway, that's kind of the idea here. We're, we're basically... These are like the kind of beers you would like drink after mowing the lawn. <laughs> or, yeah, I don't know. If you were going to go out and do a la- night of heavy drinking, you probably would start with something like... I don't these know. These are probably the beers that you drank <laughs> when you were in high school and 19, 20 years old. Also, college. most of these beers are super affordable, too. So yeah. if you do find that one of them is particular, a couple of them are particularly good, you know, the cost of living and inflation right now, somebody might have to tighten up that beer budget a little bit. No more go, craft beers. Go with one of these winners right here. So without further ado, is everybody ready? I'm ready. Ready. Let's do right. this. Mr. Brandon Hudson, the beer yes, master, sir. bring over the first beer. Now, none of us will mm, mm. bring. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Can you get a picture of his eyes? Mm. <laughs> Please take a picture of that. <laughs> Holy crap. That's everything I've ever wanted. All right. Don't, don't Here stop. comes your uncle's jock strap. Okay. <laughs> the contestants are trying rolling rock. <laughs> so here comes beer number one. Everybody, they get their cup. All right. All right. I have a question and okay. possibly a follow up question. Okay, okay. Are we allowed to smell it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can do all yeah. these things. So we swish so. it around your mouth like it's a good wine. Right. So we do not know what beers are being served. Only Brandon Hudson, the beer master, knows. And uh, this is beer number one. What are you guys, you guys smelling? Has anybody tasted it yet? No. I'm smelling notes of. This smells real fruity. Crotch. This smells, <laughs> this is some fruity shit. I feel like I've tasted this before. I've definitely had yeah. this. Definitely. I feel heartburn setting in already. <laughs> I don't hate this. I don't hate this. This is the number, the, the best tasting beer I've had so far. And I'm trying to imagine, like, we're in here, we're rehearsing, we're sweaty, somebody cracked, hey, man, give me another one of those. Would this, would this. Now, what if we taste one and we put something down and then we taste it and we're like, uh-uh, can we switch it? What are you talking about? Can we change it? Like if like say like answer, on beer yeah. six and we like realize no beer two is this. Can sure, you can that? go back. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. make that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go conservative on this first ranking. Uh, and then of course we're all gonna write down our guess as to which one we think that is. For now, keep in mind the parameters. So when we rank these, like one to ten on a scale of basic beer, not on the scale of like the greatest drinks you've ever had, or these would all be a three, you know? It's not very strong. Actually, no, which is which could be. It's I don't not know. a bad thing. I'm gonna give it a six. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, this tastes like a six to me. How's everybody feel? We're one beer in. Know, I'm... That was more beer than I was expecting. Me too. I thought I didn't realize <laughs> it goes a long way. Yeah, I'm not complaining, but no. 
So, um, I'm giving it a. It just didn't have a taste, so it was like, I don't know. I'm giving it a five. <laughs> so far, we're off to a real weird start. <clears throat> Dylan, what'd you think about that one? It was okay. Um, I think I, I, I have an idea of what I think it is, and it might, I think that that's right, but I think that I'm wrong. I think, <laughs> I, I, man, I was, I was on the fence about what it is. <clears throat> um, I feel like I've had it before, but uh, I, I think it, I don't know. Have you had? I mean, I've had all of these beers except for maybe Ice House. So let me let me put Ice that. House is the weird one. The I reason think, I don't think I've had Ice House. Actually. The reason Ice House made it on here because we were going to be talking about these are like potential like beers you would have at a band practice. I've been at band practices where they had Ice House. Yeah. Like they, everybody went out and got a six pack or a twelve pack of it intentionally. So I already knew it as like a band rehearsal beer, maybe. And it just was right next to all the other ones when I was buying them. So I was like, fuck it. Let's put it back in the mix. Makes sense. See what it does. Ladies and gentlemen, let's implement party rules, okay? Yeah, yeah. Finish your beer. <laughs> Finish your beer. because we. I finished we mine. It, no, take the whole... Oh. All the way to the last drop because we don't want to adulterate the next beer that's coming up. Okay, well I left so, that up for you. To the next <laughs> I left that for you. It was a tip. Oh, thanks for the backwash, honey. I appreciate that. Hey, that's that's Grace Steele's backwash. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a fact. I've ordered things on the internet that weren't as valuable. <laughs> Extra chunky. Yeah, it comes with a it comes with a little like that's an- gold. It comes with an ankle boot. <laughs> hey, men are into that. You fucking drink that beer and you go fall in a groundhog hole. Man, I named those gophers too. And I feed them like our when like our lettuce or celery like things that, like have gone bad like tomatoes. I throw them in the yard and I'm like, here, Jack Nicholson, here's for you and your babies. God damn! So they fucking fucked my foot up. I have a question. Yeah. Was Kenny Loggins' "I'm All Right" playing in the background when you fell in the hole? Fuck yeah! Because you just <laughs> described the plot of Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, beer number Thank two. You. <laughs> all right, beer number two. Bring it on over. This may be a beer that you would drink after your girlfriend left you for another woman. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> His intros to these. <laughs> the last one was the jock strap. All right, Grace, put, pass them out the here. The contestants are right. now trying Budweiser. Here you go, Thank Dylan. you, Beer Master. Thank you. I can't Great. smell this at all. No. I, this makes me feel like I have COVID. <laughs> like, they, like I don't <laughs> smell anything. It's like vanilla. Whoa, that's weird. That is weird. All right. Ugh. Beer number two kind of sucks. <laughs> that is yeah, I'm gonna go horrible. Ahead. Yeah, I know what it is, and it ain't that great. I'm... Is anybody enjoying the second beer? No. No. But we have to drink it. It's, yeah, we do. No, it's not the worst beer I've ever had. You're the, you're the sensible one. What, what's your opinion back there? If you had to, what, are, what are you rating this? I'd never buy this beer. Because you... <laughs> I've ne- never... Oh, God. It, I, no. I have like an onion aftertaste to it. Like, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. So maybe, maybe we should get like a cup if we don't want to finish it so you can pour it out. I don't know if I want to finish this one. This one kind of sucks. Do we Maybe, have an extra cup? Kind of fun one. And then, hey, whoever guesses the oh, worst no. has to has to no. finish the the the, the guest oh, cup. Yes. I don't know if I can agree to that. Oh, the jungle juice. Oh, can no. we do that? Can that be? Can we put that this thing? Whoever Holy loses. Shit. Okay, uh, there's gonna be a lot of burping on this podcast. Damn, Grace, how much? You only got, you only made it through like a few sips of it. It has like an oniony aftertaste thing. Hang on, let me try some more here. Like I can't, I can't do that. Okay, so God, beer I number two. To school. Oh God. Beer number two. We were oh, no, no, no. we weren't even able to finish beer number two. Um, God, I don't even know what that is. That was just I like most of these beers. I don't remember. I'm, I guess I'm I'm gonna give that one a two because I've had worse beer. Just not, are we basing it off worse beer or, or like just I'm, your? I'm just rating it from your whatever heart? my taste buds. Whatever your heart tells. Follow your heart. That was bad. Things took a turn. <laughs> two beers in. <laughs> two beers in. <laughs> The first one just literally didn't have a taste. There's not much to do go on. Was, the first one was okay to me. But didn't the second one kind of still smell like the first? Like it still had that similar. I mean, it smelled like a beer. The cup? You asshole. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. I, didn't smell like a funnel cake. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Sorry, folks. We're, it's getting, we're only two beers in and it's perilous <laughs> over here. It's very perilous. Oh, right now man. we've had what? Almost a beer if you finish that beer? If Almost we, if we had finished... Yeah, if you had finished I've, the second cup. For the record, I finished all of my second beer. Okay, Brennan Lee, finishing, finishing off. Finishing off. Well, like I said, you're a decent human being. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I would have to agree. Um, uh-oh. uh-oh. Are we ready for another round over there, Beer Master? The Beer Bunny's back, baby. <laughs> 
Just, it's like the Easter bunny. Look at his, I'm when he an said it, you just see the eyes and it's like the I, beer bunny. I just want to paint this for everybody. So we're all sitting at a table <laughs> with like a laptop and a bunch of microphones. And then over in the corner behind this like five feet tall facade, a facade. behind yeah, this facade is, is Brandon Hudson. And he's produ- you can see his eyes. He's got a microphone and he's just producing this, <laughs> these beers, these mysterious beers. All right, brother, bring us beer number three. Oof. Oh my God! <laughs> it's only three. I just want beer number two out of my mouth. <laughs> you may drink this one when your stepdad starts dating your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the contestants are now trying Coors oh, Banquet. Yes, Here comes. Oh, this is fruity smelling. Very fruity. Bananas. Notes of bananas. Man, y'all must have like gone to a lot of like beer tasting or wine tasting. No, we're just pretending like we. No, we've just been in bands and drank all this beer. Except for that last one. Ooh, that one's. Now that one's pretty good. That's got a lot of... I'm liking that. It's got a little sack in it. Ooh, yeah. that's got real flavor. To me, beer number three is... It's like is, it has mid-range. Yeah. It's nice. Beer number three uh, is working okay for me. Man, I don't know. I honestly, like, I, I know... I feel like I've had this beer before. You liking it, Spence. <laughs> I was, like, hoping you would just do that right into the mic. I'm trying not to burp right into the mic. Ooh, what are you guys getting out of this one? I'm kind of liking this one. Yeah, I like. Can it. we get a hint? Can you give us a, a hint? not a hint, but like, what what do you think about uh, Mister 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 Brewmaster? What do you think about the? What do you uh, think about this? What beer? do you think about beer number three over there? I think it has bubbles. Well, my my gut's got bubbles. Oh. What? Got the bubble gut. What? This is giving me this is giving me the bubble gut. What time of the year? When when you think of this beer, what season do you think of? Yeah, that's a good question. I hmm. would say um, summer, summer time. It is a little heavier than the other beers we've had so far. Just a touch. So let's say into summer, early fall. Um, <laughs> all right, let's move on then, gang. Uh, so we're going to get into the next, the next lap. We're starting on beer number four, Beer Master. Only six more to go. All right. Oh, my guts are already boiling. <laughs> that one Fourth of July where they hauled your uncle away you in can't handcuffs? Hurt my foot. That one. Here it comes. I don't want to relive this memory. <laughs> the contestants are now trying Yingling. Oh man! Oh, I feel like I know this one immediately. Okay, okay. you really do. One of these beers on here, I used to drink pretty regularly. Now, this? now I can't. Now I don't even. I can't drink it no. at all. What is it? Yeah, you yes. see that too. Like I can see it in the cup darker. Also, it smells like straight piss. <laughs> <laughs> this smells like a trashy concert. Like th- this smells like an outdoor like demolition derby bathroom or does something. it does it smell and taste like it has been filtered through a porter potty Ooh, that one's got some stank wang to it so, so wow. what wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that's like what your pee looks like it tastes like somebody after peed. a no. night of drinking <laughs> yeah you're definitely dehydrated hey is pee this the like one this. that you peed in hudson <laughs> i just, just dipped the tip that's all i did i didn't want to adulterate anything <laughs> so this one this one tastes like somebody peed into a bottle through an apple. It's so like it got hot you're in the car tasting, and you cooled it back so off. there's vitamin C in it, is what you're saying. No, there's vitamin P. Vitamin P in it. Vitamin P. Take that, Grace. <laughs> Give me a minute. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, gosh. Mm-mm, bitch. That, I have to you know, change that. that. Yeah, I think that one might have been. See, the thing is, I think all these that taste bad are Ice House. <laughs> 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 Me too, or Bush. I'm thinking of the two. It's like, hold on, I don't even know what. The, yeah, what, what is that? That's. I'm, hey, so, oh gosh, I don't know. Beer number four fucked me up. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it tasted like a. It tasted like a fake. Hold steak. on, I got a real. I got a question. A real question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you sent me my homework list, you said Coors Banquet. Yeah, which is the full strength Coors. All right, we're calling out to the uh, everybody. Okay, we're all right. We're we're four beer samples in. Now keep in mind, these are not full beers, but they're a little <laughs> more full than we thought they were going to be. Uh, that last one, okay, I made a guess. Yeah. I, I, my, for my notes, in the last one I wrote, dark and trashy. <laughs> the night you got pissed at your friend for hurling down the side of your car, rolling down the interstate, it was this one. The contestants are now trying Montucky. All right, beer number five. This one, fruity. Like they hey, all super fruity. Hey, yeah. are you sure that you're not like uh, uh, mixing them up, like doing the same beers? Listen, twice? No. <laughs> no. we can trust Brandon Hudson, the beer, the beer master. Listen, it's not about trust. It's good. Damn, that one's good. Oh, I think that one's. I think I know. Ooh, this is not bad. I like that one. That one's good. I like it. That's my note. 
That's my note right there. I like it. Do you realize people are going to listen to this like on road trips, drive flights? This is going to be this is going to stream all over the United States. I like that one. Can we just stop and take a minute to appreciate the intros that Brandon Hudson is doing for all these beers? Yes, Yes. it's fucking magical. Hang on a minute. Wait, what did you say? This one was. Well, why would we drink this one? This is when your friend puked on your car. It was. It was. He said it much better than I just did, but. So far, beer five is my favorite. Really? Yes. By far. By far. I love that. that I finished that one. That one's awesome. Can I just talk about how I rate things real quick that yes. I just realized? What's your rating system, Grace? So, <laughs> I, like I said before, I never give anything a zero. Which I appreciate that about you. Like, I just don't do. But I also never give anything a ten. If I ever do, that means that it's like blown my mind like it's like everything all my senses have been expanded and blown away right if i give something a 10 so it's like the highest i'll ever give someone is like an eight or a nine like I so just how many how many 10. tins have you given out Ooh. to what to like people anything. things anything, anything. anything. Yeah. probably just a handful but no how many like probably, sp- probably like five maybe six what? excuse me <laughs> <laughs> You give that a ten, Grace. Uh, I, rate my rate my burp. The one you did earlier, I I would have given that a, like a nine point five. Thank you. I love how you love but me. But not a ten. <laughs> but not a ten. Not Listen, a ten. Tens, a ten. tens are tens are like a like a it's an experience. So speaking of tens, Brandon Hudson, who's easily on a scale of one to ten, a fourteen. <laughs> Thank you. Every time he peeps over that thing, I'll fucking, I'm, losing, I'm losing my shit. Fucking look at him back there. This is incredible. I wish it, nobody's going to understand what this is like that wasn't in the room. Okay, Brandon, Here's bring some. over beer number six and make sure Randy gets some too. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, Randy Wetzel is Did here. Did you tell everyone he's like behind a curtain? Oh, yeah. That's why I'm trying to get you guys to get pictures because we're going to put this on social media. So, Brandon, will you intro beer number six? Yes. When your third cousin from Kentucky went to jail for setting <laughs> fire to his neighbor's trash can, it was this one. <laughs> The contestants are now trying high life. Why does cheap beer smell like piss? Listen, we've got to get through this. Wait, no, I'm down to get through. I'm like getting through it. But this it's is like beer why? number six. This no, is beer six. number six. My notes are this is beer number six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these pores are getting smaller. Do so you, in my in my do you, do you drink often? Yeah. I, all right. So I did Listen. not prepare for this. Well, I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> Listen. That's why I ate a fucking. But wait, have you eaten today? Yeah. At lunch. Okay. Then you should be fine. Usually, well, I only eat like four saltines. Now listen. And then- oh God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> In my stupid reptile brain, yesterday when I was buying or Sunday or whenever I went around buying all this beer, I was like, I was trying to estimate like, well, there's gonna be like four or five people, possibly six people, and we're going to do with cans, so I need to buy a giant like can. Jim Carrey. I had no idea that it would be like a half a cup each be- Okay, we're going to make it. Well, we have oh, to keep... Taste well, it's this. tasting. It like, we need, like, two. a few taste smells. That's right. So, so it takes a while. Let's get on to beer number six. What is this crap? That was pretty unique. Ooh, this has a urine... <laughs> Grace made a face like she smelled onions. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, once again, a contender for Classiest Podcast <laughs> in the universe, Beacon House. This beer makes me reconsider all of my, my answers before. <laughs> An interloper. Does it, it, does it make you question reality? No, I wouldn't go that far. It makes me want to sleep with my cousin, let's just be honest. Oh my God. <laughs> More than you already do? Beer number six. Beer number six is, is so... F- I feel like this is the most... Like average beer, it's like this is so middle of the road. This has got to be Miller. No, I that's don't. the one that I was going to say. I like Miller, but I mean, it's just like it's it's the it's the Van Halen. Like Van, <laughs> your Chuck Klosterman said, Actually, Van Halen. I was going to wrote say. the most average song, which is when the <laughs> the Grado will rock. He said it's not bad or good. Like if you lined up every song ever written in order from worst to best, when the Cradle will rock would be exactly in the middle. <laughs> That's this beer. <laughs> now, are you saying it's high life? Is that what you think? No. Yes. That's, that's, the, cha- that's the champagne of beers. The champagne. Hey, so hey. they make it in France. I did my yeah. homework, y'all, so. <laughs> <coughs> hey, I will Please say give me beer that is the coldest <laughs> beer out of all of them. Yeah. Would it turn like mountains different colors? See? <laughs> I, that went through my mind, but. <coughs> that's how you know beer's cold. I got, <laughs> <laughs> I got choked on that. 
Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I got, I'm a little baby. <clears throat> I'm guessing that's, that's uh, High Life. Mm. Fuck, Smart. I don't know. What did you guys rank that? Oh, I did. My rating? <laughs> my rating is ratings are meaningless. All these beers are the don't same. Don't get now. existential here. We've got part of the process. <laughs> okay, five. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Beer number Sorry, six. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to have to go buy Tom's on the way home. This is like the fucking campfire scene in Blazing Saddles, <laughs> except with burps. Hang on, Brandon. I'm, I'm trying, uh, uh, dude. Uh. <laughs> choke, 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 choke. Oh, oh, my God. This is fantastic. Party on, man. I like that one. Yeah, Mr. Okay. Mr. Uh, Brandon Hudson, beer master, is okay. that, do you like that beer? Have you and I ever been out together drinking that beer? Uh, oh. Uh, because Mr. Hudson no. and I, we haven't. You and I have not. Really? Okay. We have been around people that drink that beer. Oh, then my guess. But is they're fine. highly depressed. People are kind of toxic a little bit. <laughs> just, just. Just. Nah, fuck them. Whatever. So okay, let's. So now here we are. Let's take another. So beers four, five, and six. Uh, let's let's tabulate our uh, results. Ooh. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so just trying to remind you what's coming, y'all. Um. Okay, how did everybody rank beer number four? I put a four for four. You gave it a four. Brandon, what'd you get? Brandon Lee? I gave it a five. You gave it a five. Dylan, how'd you like beer number four? I gave it a three. <laughs> Damn, Dylan's mad. No. Yes. Right. Well, it, it was, <laughs> it was, like, it was like morning pee. In the British sense. That's what you it was. You don't have to explain. <laughs> we, we accept you. <laughs> okay, what about beer number five? Grace, what are you at? I gave beer number five and eight. Fucking, it was so good. I like it. And more. that's high for me. And then Mr. Lee? Uh, number seven for me, sir. Seven. Back Dylan? to you, Tom. Dylan? Four, because I don't want any more beer. <laughs> Dylan, come on. How did you feel about beer number five? Was a, f- a five? It's a four. a four. Really? You only liked it a four? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I gave, I actually, like, I gave it a nine. I was big on beer nine. number five. That's generous. It was my favorite of the bunch so far. I'm really excited to find out what beer number five was because that's what I'm going to probably buy going on forward. the way home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and beer number six, where's everybody at on it? That was the one I said. We, I gave it a six. It was so average. I don't know what to do with it. I get, yeah, okay. I gave it a six because it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Yeah, it, it was, was right there. there. It was drinkable. It was co- I liked that it was cold. Uh, it was very cold. cold. You do it, maybe, it got, maybe it accepted the refrigeration better. I'm going to make Is a note that of that. Mountain put that, put that down. Put I don't that fuck, down. They've all been in there the same amount hey, of time. we can do that as a review and put it on that beer, being like, it accepts refrigeration I'm making better. I'm refrigerator. Beer number six accepts refrigeration better. Yes. <laughs> you can't make me. Yes. Won't be cool. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, what do you think about beer six? I gave it a five. You gave it a five. Bob. Dylan? Also a five. A five. I'm excited to see I gave it a seven. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> all right. Not. Final lap. Gentlemen, how are we doing over here? Everybody okay? Yeah. Is anybody starting to get drunk? <laughs> I believe the fifth. Dylan's year. bad. <laughs> He's angry. He is so look, look, everybody look right back there. Look. look what's <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes are so destruct- descriptive. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> beer master. Beer master, Mr. Hudson. Uh, mm-hmm. Beer number seven. Tell us about beer number seven. Remember the time you got balls drunk on your aunt's couch because they rejected your application for road rules? It's this one. <laughs> it's a 10. It's a whole string. It's a 10. It's a whole string of 10. It's a 10. The contestants are now trying Pabst Blue Ribbon. Me. Is that Jive Turkey? Yes. <sighs> All right, beer number seven. What's our, this one looks very light. I can see straight through it. Makes a person very transparent when you drink enough of it. Well, it smells it to me. It smells like urine. <laughs> I don't like that. All of these are like well, no, no. no. Number pee. five was <laughs> it smelled like hopes and dreams. It was glorious. <laughs> I'm so glad we liked that one. I'm so curious. Mm-mm. Ooh, this one's a little skunky. Ooh, beer number seven has got a vengeance. <laughs> as Brand- as Brandon Lee kills it. He's like, yeah, you're right. Cool. It sure does. Some good ass shit right here, bro. Ugh, I'm like, I'm about to... 
I'm looking at the list over here. I can't I like, imagine. What if I put down? Uh, that mm. might be PBR. Maybe. I don't know. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. But I've had a, so much PBR and I like it. Yeah, but you, and you don't like this. I like it. Do you think it's a case of branding or do you think well, it's see, legitimately that, that's not why, PBR? That's why we're doing the blindfold test is because I feel like a lot of people have like a perception of beers yes. based on the can and the brand. Like, this is going to sound really dumb, uh, but like, I feel like a can of PBR looks cool. Like, if I order it's PBR. It's the blue ribbons. Something about it. Like, and there's even been a time like. because it's, it's America. I don't know. There's just something kind of punk America. rock about it. Wait, I need to turn my beer glass back in. Well, and it is connected to the rock and roll scene. I mean, you can't afford anything else because you don't get a free bar tab when you play. Uh, yeah. You yeah. That's but true. something about PBR doesn't, for me, it doesn't feel low rent. Like, I feel like if I order PBR, I, like it's I a agree. Legit, it's I, a legit I happen to like PBR very much. Um, as long as it's super cold. I'm not a PBR fan. It's like drinking My thing is, milky like, butter I'll made out of cat shit. I'll drink anything if that's like <laughs> what. Yeah. Randy, I'll, did you say drinking deviled eggs? Sometimes I'll go for it if I've had Ew. a bunch of like heavy shit. If I've had like like some liquor or or I've had heavy beers and I kind of just want to wind down, I'll be like, give me a PBR. I like the cold can. Um, ooh, that I, sound, I like that, that sound. That is a sexy sound. Sa- <laughs> it, like, it really, really is. is. I felt a twinge, actually. I felt, I felt a, tic- a, tic- a tickle. Did you? I a get tickle. twinges. You get I tickles? I get a little tickle in a spot. Uh, I call that That's a twinge. Like a, but, I, get, you know. I typically get like a... <laughs> <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, back there behind that. Okay. Brandon Hudson. Jesus oh. Christ. Is there anything anybody hasn't guessed? I haven't guessed... Yes. Uh, Oh, man. I haven't done Rolling Rock, Coors, or... I haven't guessed Bush on anything. I don't remember what the fuck Bush takes. Bush just made a huge comeback, by the way. It did. Like, you got to head for them mountains. Bro, Bush all of a sudden started showing up getting music videos. Like, there's a new uh, video by the metal band Revocation. And in the background, by the way, everybody go listen to Revocation. Jesus Christ. Um, and in the background, people are skating, and they, it goes into slow motion as they go by, and they're all holding cans of <laughs> Bush. How did that happen? It became cool again. Yeah. All right, let's bring us to beer number eight. We got two more to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> two more to go. <laughs> I really got to piss. Do we need to take a pee break? Well, no, he's already got it. He's got another tray oh, over coming. there. It's Hold coming. Hold it in, it's man. Late. It's coming. Two more beers. Don't let this heat up. Hey, I still Don't need to hear up. about this private he, the looking jet. At me. Like, you got a, you got a company Did you say thing? shed? Listen, dude. Private, private, private. Look private. Look at that man's, wait, 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 wait. Look at that man's eyes. He says, Don't let Don't let this one get hot. Oh, damn it. No. No. Oh, this is I'm Budweiser. Gonna ch- I'm going to have to change my last <laughs> answer. <laughs> Budweiser is the worst beer I can imagine being hot. <laughs> Bring it on over. Bring it on. Bring it number eight. Let's Wait, go. Number eight? Let's go. Well. Oh, yeah. When your uncle's ex-wife groped you on Memorial Day at the cookout, <laughs> resulting in their divorce, this is what she was drinking. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was an 11. Oh, God. Dance. The contestants are now <laughs> drinking <laughs> bush. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome, Spencer. Oh, okay. This one is, this is, this actually looks like urine. That's how I know what beer it is. <laughs> it smells like ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody's drinking. What is that? Hang on. <laughs> that's how I feel right now inside. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth, that's pretty bad. <laughs> what? Can we guess? Can Randy's we double making guess? me question all of my choices. Randy, they, you can do whatever. Do, do they not have people oh. who taste these beers before they fucking <laughs> manufacture them? Like, this like, is horrible. Hey, dude, if you taste, do you have COVID? What the fuck's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> like the one that literally had an onion, an onion aftertaste. Like, what is that? Good oh. God. Oh, this tastes like a bicycle chain. I'm chas- I'm I tried to put... Okay. Yeah. Hey, can I please have beer number two? Hang on a second, Grace. You can't. They're, this one's gone. It's gone? It was it's gone. so good. It was so good. Okay, hang on. So much I wanted number two. three. This one's not as bad as number two. This is... Nothing is as bad as number two. This is just not super good, but it's okay. Uh, um, like from the first... Just so you know, You're doing a great job. from the first page, my notes have gone from things like fruity, basic... To like now, <laughs> my comments are sort of bad. Okay, I just had to change th- two because I, I was like, this is, one? there's no way. I actually kind of like that one, to be honest. You just keep so well. <laughs> like I said, you're a decent human being. This was good treatment. This was great treatment. Do I have to finish this because that cup's yes. full? My, my comments are sort of bad, maybe cup. okay. You going to drink it for me? 
Man, listen, Randy. as a woman in this day and age, Anyways. it is so nice oh. to have men that are gentlemen. They look after, like, I am a, a woman uh. sitting in a room oh, full of five men, and we're just sitting here drinking shit beer, but y'all are still gentlemen. Listen. Like, we're drinking out of... You Let me know, tell you something. Crystal. We're, all, we're all drinking, so I'll go ahead and say it right now. You know you have that friend. Every, everybody's got that friend, and it's like a girl, and she's out somewhere, and she's mad, and she's on her phone, and she's typing furiously, <clears throat> and she says some shit. She goes, all the good men are gone. There's no good men anymore. Men are bad. Is that like, how we look? Is that how we no, look? No, not you, but, but <laughs> some people do. And I always go, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. It's because of these guys in this room right now. I'm just fucking going to say that. Why? Because they're all married? No, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but, but I'm, where's my where's my Prince Charming? I don't know, but they're out there. They're out there because I hang out. I hang out with a bunch guy? of my guys. Where's my dude that comes in on a white horse? Mine are all on. Maybe that's donkeys. the problem. Your expectation is a white horse. Yeah. This is the last beer. Did you hear that? This is the last one, this guys. Is, I'm kind of. I'll be honest. I'm kind of sad. Uh, I'm, uh, this is going to be the best beer for me. How dare you get us drinking and then pull it away? How about this? <laughs> <laughs> so, Touché. so oh, everybody look around, look over there. What's going on over there? <laughs> Beer master, are you ready? Y'all ready Hold for on. this? No. Here comes the last. I would imagine. Yes. So what I know of Brandon Hudson, Brandon Hudson does not go quietly into the night. I would imagine he saved a real. I bet. I bet his choice of the last beer is significant. I bet he wouldn't just service any easy shit. I agree with that. You think so, too? Absolutely. I've seen this guy perform live. He, he's a fucking yeah. savage. Yeah, he would do that. Okay, Beer Master. Intro this. This is, this is it, folks. This is last is beer. Beer Master, intro this last beer for us. Last Friday, when Grace was sitting alone at the bar, furiously texting away to her friends about the lack of good men in this town and how <laughs> she can't find her fucking Prince Charming, <laughs> this is what she was drinking. <laughs> That's a 14 on a scale of 10. That's 20. 20. Oh, God. The contestants are now drinking Here's Ice House. I love, so I love you too. It smells like All right, anyway, yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, oh, we're going to toast. So uh, this is what I, you saved the best for last then. Just toast. Let's toast. Toasting. Hey, Randy. Who's toasting? Let's toast to Randy Wetzel, the, the, the man. Here's to Randy. That's right. Well, there's Ooh. only one that I haven't guessed. That one tastes like Christmas. This one was filtered in kitty litter, bro. Ooh. There is no classier podcast than this one right now. This guy There's only one awards for podcast. Like, are there like you know like Grammys? Or there will be after this. <laughs> there's no Everyone taste like of this one. Remember to like, subscribe. Yeah, this is very like it's like a suitcase, and you open it. There's nothing in the it. The thing is, is I did my homework, and I should know more about these beers on how they missing? taste. Based there's about on to where be a big. Come? We're about Grace, to have the Grace. big reveal. What was your homework? Was it re- researching like the company? <laughs> Like, were you drinking a lot? There's a beers? company, like, just the beer. Like, what makes them stand out? What's different? <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly away. So it's like a Tom Jones thing. Oh, God. All right, wait, wait. Can I suggest? Okay, you can do whatever. I'm, just, I'm having trouble getting through this one. Can everyone uh, say their favorite beer before we start going through what our oh, guests yeah. are? Like, yeah. our favorite, like, the from number. this? Yes, yes. The we already know Spencer. We're going to, no, we don't. Well, yeah, that was it number eight or what? Five. Okay, we're going to tabulate. So let's finish. Let's get through this beer and then we're going to get into that. I didn't realize how, how. See, now I have that song stuck in my come fly with me. Can we segue about how much tit sweat I have right now? Sure. Oh, yeah. Fuck, it's so fucking hot in here. Go on about it. <laughs> Go on about it. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say that go I off. can relate. Go off, go off, King. T- wow, that is a lot of tit. I look like sweat. that right on a regular basis. Refer to previous Beacon House podcast, Humidity. 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 That's a real thing. It is. It really is. I've seen it. I I feel it. Humidity in the perineum. I, f- <laughs> Brandon. What is an actual? What is a taint called? What is the exact term? Perineum. And, or perineum. And what is that? What what that what is part the of piece that? of skin between the opening of the the JJ? Just say your it, it, it taints your huh and it taints your and the anus, hum. otherwise known as the outlet mall. But what? But and the men taste have. Basket. But men have them. So it's what underneath your ball sack. Yes. Between the yes. balls to yes. the butthole. Yes. <laughs> okay. From balls to butthole. Now, okay. So we're gonna bring uh, uh, Mr. Brandon. By the way. By the way. Real quick, round of applause for Brandon Hudson. He's done so fucking good. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm honored to be here with you guys, man. Jesus Thanks Christ. for including me. What, a, been, what an animal. It's been fun. <laughs> this is where the rubber meets the to. road, okay? 
Okay. We are going to go through. So I'm, we're gonna we're all gonna tell our guests on beer number one. Okay, and our notes. So I'll go first. Uh, beer number one. Uh, hmm. I I wrote down. I scored it a six, and I wrote that it was smooth and fruity. <laughs> And I guessed that it was Budweiser. Grace, where are you at on beer one? I I originally said it was Bush, but I changed it to Coors. And I gave it a five. It had a very strange aftertaste, but not much flavor when it when you, when when it you went, drink okay. it. Brandon Lee, what did you say about beer number one? So I gave it a seven. Okay, you liked it. I did. You liked it a lot. But I said it was Bush. Okay. And Dylan. I gave it a five, yeah. And I wrote my notes were mild, and it's Budweiser. That's what I thought it was too. Mister Beer Master Brandon Hudson, reveal what was beer number one? Rolling Raw. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We call that Christian beer. Rolling Raw. I actually, drink like it Rolling Rock. Easter yeah. Sunday. Okay, Rolling Rock. Rolling so Rock. Rolling Rock scored at twenty three. <laughs> It's an it's eclectic a bunch beer. of taste yeah. buds, y'all it is got. A good beer. <laughs> that was that was that was one of the that it was, was the, the highest five I gave. It was the second highest tied with whatever uh, beer number six is coming up. Yeah. So Rolling Rock, mm. big, big entry. Okay, good job, Rolling Rock. Now, remember the beers that we're, we're, we're rating here, High Life, Coors, PBR, Rolling Rock, Yingling, Ice House, Bud, Bush, oh, no. Montucky. Oh, no. Did you forget that? <laughs> he left the whole page out. <laughs> He's gonna be you a, didn't look at the back, Dylan's dude? Hand. I do not have Yingling on any of my it, I don't either. I don't either. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, uh, Guess what? I didn't give you any Yingling. So here we go. Here we go. He's lying. Beer number two. Mr. Hudson, reveal what beer number two was. Beer number two. It's the Clydesdale, Mr. Budweiser. Oh. Really? Oh, it, I knew it. Bud sucked. heavy, baby. Oh, God. That was the worst one. That's Budweiser scored an eight. <laughs> It wow. was the lowest scoring beer. <laughs> Nasty. Wow. I, it was. Squ- oh. It tasted so bad. I guessed it was ice. House. <laughs> that's what I guessed. <laughs> I that's said. What I guessed, and then I changed it to oh. Bush. I literally said that's got to be ice house. Dylan, what did you think beer ice number two? Ice house. <laughs> Dude, so Budweiser sucked. Oh my god. <laughs> it scored an eight overall. Who? What did you have? I had a two. What did you have? One. What did you have? I had a three. And Dylan? Two. I could not buy this beer. Brandon, you liked Budweiser better than anybody, but still not enough to buy. <laughs> Holy shit. I wrote here my notes. Everybody can see us. my notes about beer number two, Budweiser. I wrote it tastes like an old shoe. <laughs> <laughs> God, it sucks. Uh. I, for, 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 of note, of, 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 of note, I feel like Bud Light is a lot better. I can drink I a Bud Light. Yeah, I, I like agree. Bud Light. One hundred percent agree. Not. Yeah. So maybe maybe we give an honorable mention to Bud Light. So, damn. Okay. So going forward. Okay, Mr. Hudson. Yes, sir. Please reveal beer number three in honor of our good friend Brandon Cobb, the Yellow Jacket. Oh, uh, Coors, Coors Banquet. Coors Banquet. Damn it! Uh, Fuck yeah. So it scored uh, high. So Get I built. I originally wrote Coors. Me too. And I marked no, it I out. Put, I put Bud. Actually. No take backs, bitch. I know you're right. You're right. <laughs> and uh, I want to make a. Bud. I want to make an edit. Beer number three, Coors Banquet, the original Coors, the Yellow Jackets. Brandon Cobb, shout out Yellow Jackets. It actually scored higher. It's number two, second place. I gave it a seven. That's it, a good one. It I gave it a seven as well. I also gave it a seven. I gave Look it a us. five. It scored a twenty-six. <laughs> it scored a twenty-six, which makes it the. Number two, silver medal place of all the beers we tasted. Oh, I'll put that on there. But Brandon Cox, number one in our hearts. It outscored Rolling Rock and whatever Rolling Rock tied with later on. So I wrote about uh, about Coors Banquet. I I guessed that it was Yingling, and I I wrote it had very it had body taste and it was a little heavy, but yeah, we all liked that one a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So so far, big surprise out Rolling Rock and uh, Coors original Coors. Scoring a little high up on the and Budweiser eating shit. All right, let's move on. Cobra Kai, bitch. What's Cobra beer Ka- four. Wu Tang. Beer number four. Reveal it, sir. One of the oldest breweries in the country, Yingling. Uh, oh, yes. yes. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Yeah. This Again, is the that's one that Yingling I used to drink all the time, and now I can't. Crowd. My notes are is that it uh, looks and smells and tastes like urine. Oh, you didn't you didn't care for Yingling. I right? gave it a four. Oh damn. I so go setting their ways. I did not like this one at all. <laughs> What'd you give it, Spence? I gave what it a, do you know? I gave it a five. I also gave it a five. But I wrote that it was dark and trashy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
going into this, I thought Yingling would be one of the ones that like came out in front. Like I, I thought Yingling was like one of the better cheap beers you could get, but I did not. Dylan, it. how how would you would you, you put? I gave it a three. A three. A three. Shit. So I also thought it was Bush though. I thought it was Rolling Rock. What do you think it was, Grace? Beer number four. Yingling. I got it right. You nailed it. I also got it right. You did too? Yep. So it scored a 17. Not so great. Okay. Um, now, real quick, real quick. That was, that was we're about We're about halfway in. Grace, give us a little bit of backstory on our previous. So let's tell us a little bit about beer number one, Rolling <laughs> Rock. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Rolling Rock is actually owned um, by Anheuser-Busch. Yeah. Um, and so it actually came on the market in 1939. 33 shows up on the bottle um, because there is 33 words in the beer's pledge. Oh, cool. And Rolling Rock appears three times on the bottle. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Trivia. And I think it's the pony beer, but it's not the pony beer. It's the pony glass with the pony cup. And that's where you get the horse, the, the pony part in it. All right. Tell us a little bit about beer number two, the one we did not like, Budweiser, the big, big loser so far. Ugh, I've Ugh, never liked that one. Um, same. same. It's the first beer that Bush put out. It was founded in the 1850s. <clears throat> actually came out in 1876. Really? And it is the world's largest <laughs> brewing company, <laughs> and it is apparently America's number one best-selling beer. Well, so far in this podcast, and it's, it's the, the worst. It's the shittiest so beer. So you're saying Bud. Budweiser. Budweiser. Heavy. All right. So now, uh, nah. our, our, yeah. so far, our biggest score, the original Coors, the Yellow Jackets. Tell us about Coors. Um, the brewing company is 140 yeah. years old. Um, in 1991 was when it actually was able to hit all 50 states and be sold in those states. So Coors wasn't sold all over the United States until the 90s? Yep. And... It's a, of course, it's a Colorado beer. Okay. And the prohibition when it hit Colorado was in 1916, and they had to bust. I think it was like a hundred and something barrels <laughs> of Coors. Well, you know, in the 70s, you couldn't take it east of the Mason Dixon line. I heard that in Smoking the Bandit. That's right. It was bootlegging. Okay. That's right. Uh, and so then beer four. Beer four. Yingling. What's up with Yingling, Grace? Give us a little backstory. It is the oldest brewing company in America. It was founded in nineteen or in eighteen twenty nine. Mm, that's a good year. It's good in year. Pennsylvania, and it's actually the largest craft beer. What? <gasps> what? What? Well, it's yes. so it's not. It's it's actually Spencer considered. That's where Spencer Boy. puts the uh, sound a effect. Craft. Chun, chun, chun. It's <laughs> considered a craft. Beer. Well, I'll tell you this. It scored less than anything so far except Budweiser, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Now, this one. Hey, I'm really excited about This is the... This is the winner. Number five. This is the beer that scored the highest of any and the beer I'm still craving a little bit of, actually. This I would the like, highest? Do we not this have any more? <laughs> number f- number what five? Is what is it? If number you say five, Ice House, five, I'm going to lose my it? shit. I am not surprised. What is it? Listen. Listen. Here, This is it. This one scored higher than anything. Mm. We loved it. I wrote my my notes were that it was light, fruity. It was good. I wrote in capital letters, good. It scored a twenty eight mm. altogether. Mm. Um, beer number five did. Uh, my guess was Montucky. What was your guess, Grace? Montucky. I gave it an Montucky. eight. Montucky. Montucky. Everybody guess Brandon Hudson. What is it? Montucky. Oh! Yes! Hey, get out. Give me that white pony beer. Dude, Montucky beat everybody out. Dude. Wow. My notes just say, I like it. Central Depot, Will Bullock, we love you, Will. Yeah. I scored it higher than Eve. I scored it a nine. I didn't know that's what I was getting. I gave it an eight. That's cherry. the highest that and, I went up. Yeah. I have never had that beer, so okay. Okay. I gave it a seven. Oh. We like okay. it. Yeah. The big winner, it scored uh, two points higher than Coors Banquet. Wow. Uh, mm. Montucky scored a 28 altogether overall, so that's our number one. And then the next beer we've got, beer number six, tied with our first beer, Rolling Rock, 23. So, so far, this is a third Same. place. <laughs> um, this had a 23. Uh, my notes about beer number six, it was just uh, super average. But this was the one that responded better to refrigeration. <laughs> yes, very cold. <laughs> this one was cold. This is the coldest beer. They were all refrigerated for the same amount of time, but this motherfucker 
was colder than all the other it was beers. Like ice cold. I guessed that it was High Life. Grace, what did you Slow think? Molecule. I said High Life. I gave it a six. I said Coors, and I was wrong. Dylan? High Life for the first time. Mr. Hudson, reveal Not beer number six. It's no champagne, but it is High Life. Bye. Bye. That means I got beer number seven. Right? All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> this whole page was right for me. I'm Grace Steele. Like Wait, me. what's your score so far? You got a problem. What do you mean? Wait, how many have gotten correct? How many Three. guesses? Three. All right, I got three. It's all right. beating three. I'm probably wrong on Anyone all the other ones. Three. Uh, what? I don't I've gotten three right. I've gotten two right. Uh-huh. Aha. Right. Oh, am I winning? We're tied. Yeah, We're tied. I'm not. I'm not drinking that I've shit. I've got beer. two right. I'm with all Spence. Right. Uh, so <laughs> I'm for, probably wrong on all the others. For those though. of you keeping score at home, you're doing great, Dylan. So far, the winner, the <laughs> clear winner. <laughs> you too, Grace. You're doing great too. Just, <laughs> the clear winner is Montucky with a 28, and then tied for second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Second place, Coors Banquet. The original Coors, the Yellow Jacket, Brandon Cobb, shout out. Um, and the then Cobb? third place, tied for third place, is Rolling Rock and High Life. Nobody. All right, so on the last page, this is it. We're going to tie it up right here. I'm nervous. We, I'm actually sweating. I got last, humidity. The oh, last three so beers. Give me my list back. You can't look at it. it. On the last three beers, we have a tie for fourth place. Okay. Beer seven and nine. And then beer number eight did not do well. Beer number eight is actually the second worst. So on this page, we're going to have the fourth best and the second worst beer. I still can't believe Budweiser. Wow. Like, Budweiser's the number one selling American beer, and it is... It was terrible. Woo! That, might, that might say a lot about the public, but we what do we know? We it's already, knew, we already knew that as yeah. Americans. Beer number seven. Pretty dark. Mm. Brandon Hudson. This one, was, this one scored a 21. This was a tie for fourth place uh, with the very last beer. And <laughs> my notes about beer number seven were... That it was very clear, you could see through it, and it smelled like piss. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is that it was PBR. Grace, where were you at? I agreed with you. PBR gave it a four. Brandon, Again, like, I agree with you. I no. gave it a six. Dylan, P- where P- you at? PBR, you? yeah. Uh, so I rated this a five, and I again wrote Miller High Life, but the reason was because Randy said so. <laughs> <laughs> influence. In- outside influence. That's, that's legit. So, so what was number seven? Well, this one will put Mr. a little Brandon. shake in your coattails. It is PBR. Oh, yeah! Keep, market- game, keep yeah. marketing to those musicians, fellas. That's right, baby. So PBR tied for number four. Now, here's what's crazy is that... I did not, ex- I don't know, man. I did not expect three things to beat PBR. But so far, Montucky, Rolling Rock, and High Life all beat PBR in a taste test. Wow. And then also something tied PBR at the end of this. So we're going to keep going. Beer number eight. Beer number eight did not score well. This, this, Nasty. My notes were sort of bad, maybe okay. I gave it a six. So. I gave it a four. I gave it a one, and I said it smells going down. Jesus Christ. How Dylan, do you do that? Dylan, four. what was your reaction to beer number eight? It was a number four. You gave it a four. Uh, so you, you, were, you were kind. And Brandon, you were sort of, you gave it a five. I gave it a six. A six. He was kind. He, liked, Wait. he would buy this oh. beer. Beer okay. number eight? Yeah. Yeah, six. Okay. This, yeah. One, this one's weird. We're kind of, we're, we're sort of all over the place on beer number eight. Mr. Hudson, please reveal beer number eight. Comes in with motor oil and masculinity. Bush. Bush. The Bush oh, series. Oh, I got that one right. I got that one right. Oh. Damn. I don't know. I, my notes were <laughs> sort of bad, maybe Ow. okay. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. So beer, beer, number six, beer number eight, I'm sorry, scored a 16, which makes mm. it the third worst. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it's the second worst. <laughs> the third worst was Yingling. Ooh, man. So Budweiser... Bush and Yingling coming in the bottom. Wow. Coming in the bottom. Not not doing too well. Unbelievable. I got four right. So <laughs> here we are. Three. The last beer. Everybody, how's everybody doing? I I've I've opened another Coors banquet. I'm drinking. Same. Cheers same. to you. Cheers yeah. to everyone here. Cheers. Cheers all. Cheers to your bone stock. All right. The very last beer. <clears throat> see, now that I have it in and I see what it is, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to drink that. Wait. <laughs> I think I know what it is based on... I do. We know what the last one is based on what it is. And I am so surprised at what I gave it. I gave it a seven. I told you Grace was drinking that shit. Brandon Hudson, what is the last beer? Is it, is it Ice House? It's Ice House. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh it's God. shipping Ice House. I said, I said, it's easy going down. Mm-hmm. I wrote, it tastes like Christmas? Question mark? Like an Ice House. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Inuit people are very happy right now. I am blown away that Ice House was tied for number four. Listen, no people, shit. what that means by proxy, by proxy, those of you keeping score at home, Ice House beat Bush, it beat Budweiser, and it beat Yingling. Wow. But you can still make fun of it. Having never tasted Ice House before. Yeah, I've never, I've never had, I, I've never had Ice House. house. Ice House has got a little bit of a... That's, that's fair, that's fair. All right, so let's get the rankings down here. Did anybody guess Ice House for the last one? Hell no. What'd you, what'd you guess? I guess Coors. I put Rolling Rock. I gave it a I had seven. High, high Life. High Life. Peebers. Peebers. Shit, okay. So here we go. So then breaking it down for everybody, let's get in here. The number one beer was Montucky. Number one. I didn't see. Th- I, I kind of included that one as sort of like a. Uh, an and honestly, oh. I have never had it. That was a newcomer. As soon the- as yeah. I cracked the seal on it, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, this is number one. Okay. Montucky comes out never had on it. top with a total score of 28. Uh, I think it was my favorite beer. I scored it a nine. And then uh, second place, very close with a 26. Coors Banquet, the Yellow Jacket. Wow. That we're drinking That now. we're drinking right That's now. That's amazing. Yes. Brandon Cobb knows what he's talking about. I'll see Cobb. Cobb. Cobb put down a couple Montuckies, too. So he's a, a, a connoisseur of good beers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and then with a 23, this is third place, 23 was High Life tied with Rolling Rock. Holy shit. Number three? Number three. That's right. Wow. So keep that in mind. And then uh, the number four was an, also a tie between PBR and Ice Ice House. Ice House tied, I can't tied with that. PBR. Ice House. PBR and Ice House tied for fourth place. That's Confounding so- evidence being provided. That's insane. I did slightly structure the shittier beers toward the end. Okay. Because I assumed that alcohol would prevail and your lack of Taste you know, nice. mental fortitude. Like, oh, gotcha. this, shit, this is great. This is fucking beer. I'll drink this <laughs> shit. Go, go, go. So. Hell yeah, buddy. But so, hell yeah. Well, that's it. That's Do you want to th- know about those? Yes, yes. So we're going to go back to starting with Montucky. Uh, the, the fucking winner, Montucky. Grace, tell us about that beer company. Yes, Montucky. please. So please. it's a very young beer. It was founded in 2012 in Montana by two guys who just wanted to enjoy life, didn't like their job, wanted to do something, wanted to drink a beer, give Love back. That. They like the outdoors. They gave they give 8% back. What's their names? They're, I'm pretty sure it's Jeff and Chad. I, but they're, don't, don't, it sounds don't, like a Chad. I will say this. They do, yeah. they do donate back. And oh, and it's vegan friendly. There have been really? many times mm-hmm. where I was meeting oh, our, our bro. Also, it's vegan friendly. Uh, well, also a previous guest of Beacon House, Leslie Payne, from Beacon House Book Club, uh, we've often, oh, d- like, our code for yeah, meeting right. at Central Depot right. to have a couple of Montuckies is, do you want to go do some charity? Because Montucky does give back, too. And that, that that was, fa- that's fantastic. Yeah, th- and that was, yeah. Not in, that was not factored into the score, but it just tasted better. So Yeah, I agree, yeah. Look at and that. Then, it was my first time with it. And then it, so beer six. Pretty good. Yeah. Was beer number six was High Life. The Champagne of Beer, which was in 1903. Frederick Miller... The founder of Miller Beers. Get them, Frederick. Mm-hmm. It is a luxury beer. That's what it was considered at its time. Was a luxury. High beer. life tasted like dog. It shit. was a beer that you got in a bucket and took home. <laughs> Actually, and also, if you know the High Life beer, the old uh, symbol, the old. So here, like now, you have like, like the wheat, but like their their calling, brand, yeah, yeah, was actually the girl in the crescent moon. Hmm. Which was is a trademark from 1907, and it's their trademark. That's 107 years ago, eight years ago, whatever. I'll be damned. Okay, now we move, we move on to we move on to a actual award winning. I know this this one the PBR. Um, it's in Milwaukee in 1844, Wisconsin. They did not it was win. originally called Best Select. It did not get changed to the to Blue Ribbon until the 70s. Did they win a Blue peaked. Ribbon? Did they win a Blue no. Ribbon? No. No, they just put it on there. They did it because they used to tie the beers. Well, Walgreens has Southpaw. Interesting. So oh, that's, I thought it won a war. Ba- it's so kind of like a PBR. Sales, their sales peaked in the 70s and then dropped in the 80s and 90s. They went through a bunch of CEOs and then in the 2000s it 
spike. I remember as a kid thinking PBR was like a like an old person's beer. Same. Like I remember, like I associated with movies like Urban Cowboy. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it came back like hardcore, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> okay. Beer number eight, Bush. What do we know about the Bush? Mm. Is that Anheuser Bush? What? How's it? Yeah, it's still owned. Tram around the um, it's in front of the perineum. It, it, <coughs> yeah, it, it was introduced in 1955. Uh, it uh, was introduced in 1955. It is from the Anheuser Bush Company, obviously. So they already. But have it like, was originally called the Bush Bavarian beer. So they already mm. had Budweiser. Yeah, Budweiser they, was its first. And then they introduced Bush as like yeah. a like a. Is it like their cheaper line? Is it like their Squire, their it Epiphone? <laughs> Actually, if you look and see all the beers like in brands that Anheuser Busch owns, you will be surprised. Like they have like true craft beer. Like Busch you Gardens. have no idea. <laughs> well, I'm Love here to place. I'm here I to tell like, you, what? Beacon House, like just, Shock Top. We've just decided. I like Shock Top. Shock Top is good. Shock yeah. Top is good, but Kona. Their headline beer, uh, Budweiser, scored an eight on our fucking, it's fucking horrible. Yeah, it's it did. It did. Um, and now I'm disappointed that the, like, the Clydesdales is associated with Budweiser. It like. tasted like you filtered it through a crock. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's, um, let's go on to... I love you guys. Let's go on to uh, beer number uh, nine, Ice House. What's the backstory on that motherfucker? It's owned by Miller, Frederick Miller. Okay. The oh. Miller Companies. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. was the first ice beer brewed ever in America. Really? What, now, what does what that mean? That? What yes, ice, what is well ice beer. brewed? If you remember a while back, a bunch of the beer companies came out with an ice, like Bud Ice. Is it like yeah, a version? Yeah, like yeah, you, like you got ice, ice, bro. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Ice, yeah. ice brewing. Undergo a degree of fractional freezing during its production. Oh. Oh, well, that clears it up. Oh. So it's, it's literal. So that was technically the, also the. It only means it's been chilled until ice crystals begin to so form in it during. Literally in the name. Yeah. yeah, like there's literally it's like ice crystals in it. It's uh, that's the only that was the only ice beer in our. I shootout. can't believe I gave it a seven. Bro, Ice House was not bad. Like that's what I'm going to be asking at now when tied I go to Union Jacks. I'm going to be like, I gave it a five. Me. Tied with PBR. Yeah. Ice House tied with PBR. Amazing. I don't like PBR. Ice I House. Love, I love PBR. Ice House tied with PBR. And fucking Rolling Rock tied with High Life. All I know is right now that my taste buds are fucked up, and I need to readjust. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. Does anybody else have any any comments about the beer, Mister Beer Master? Yeah. What you? Let's hear from you. Let's yes, hear from Brandon please. Hudson. Yes. What do? You, how do you feel about these? What, what were your favorite beers in the bunch? Which one did you enjoy pouring? Yeah. The most? Which one gave you a twinge? Well, I enjoyed pouring all of them equally because uh, I'm a facilitator of a good time. So if you guys haven't had a good time, a fact. then you guys ain't fucking living. Whoa, this was, Go see. So, shout out Brandon Hudson. Shout out Lowdown Heavy. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but no, man, I, I think this was awesome. Uh, honestly, PBR. I'm going to go PBR. That's your all favorite? Day long. All the way? Yeah. Well, it allows me to simulate my band practice. Uh, I think that you should train for the event that you're going to partake <laughs> in. Right? Yes, so if yes. you're going... To play a show, let's say Scruffy, Prez Pub, yep. Central Depot, any of those nice and wonderful brickyard places, uh, you know, you're going to drink some PBR there. And you're going to drink them around the same price as you're going to do it in rehearsal. Love that. Absolutely. Drink them in the same quantity, though. Otherwise, you'll fall flat on your face. You're right. Those 100%. are some wise words right there from that a, a very wise, wise man. Yes. So, I mean, if you want to compile all these results, Wait. Uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan has thoughts. Well, no, I'm worried about who has to drink this cup. Oh, who I won? Have, oh, who yeah, lost? I won. Correct guesses. Hang on a I minute. I got four correct okay, so Ice House was one of your highest. So like I maybe. did not I did not remember that we were going to take... Okay, so let's let's tabulate now. Randy will drink it. And we can edit this. Let's tabulate who all it's got... It's not that bad. It's really not So I got one, two... I got two, three, four. I got four right. <sighs> Me and you are tied. You got four right. I know what I right. got. I got a P. Actually, <laughs> but but how many did you get right? I think three. Brandon, we got to find out. Brandon, how many, how Brandon? many did you get right? <laughs> okay, one, this two. is warm. Oh, it sucks. So for everybody listening, what's that going? On? What's going on here is we we all guessed. So of all the beers that suck, which if you've been keeping score, we're definitely Budweiser and uh, Bush, and what was another one that Yingling didn't do very well. We, we, the ones that we couldn't finish, we poured them into one cup, 
so that so that Brandon Hudson could take the cups back and refill them. And this one cup has been sitting here throughout the podcast. And we decided whoever guessed the worst would drink the cup. Mm-hmm. This is a bad idea. But I think it's a great times. idea. You think that because you got a four like I did. <laughs> so brain, we have a tie. Both Dylan and Brandon, and both. we drink the most beer in the band. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. So so we have to decide who's going to drink the cup. They're going to play three. paper rock scissors. Three. <clears throat> three. All right. Like one two three shoot. No no one two three. One two shoot. Yeah. Okay. At this point, oh. Brandon loses at paper rock scissors. Fuck it. Fuck. He has to record. <laughs> All right, fine. Record. I'm offering a contingency. You don't yeah. actually have to drink it. Also, for the record, we could just pour it out. Nobody gives a fuck. You no, just, that's cheating. Grace, shut up. You could just dump Let's, this in no, the toilet. Waste no. a band beer. Fair is fair. At this point, Brandon drinks the guys. cup of warm what leftovers. Man, I told you it wasn't God that bad. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at the resolve on so, his face. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. so what was the number on that one? The drummer for Burn the City, Brandon Lee, What's the suicide beer? has finished off the suicide beer. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Really, wasn't bad. Like at some all. of the some of the bad ones brought the good ones up. Yeah, or vice versa. Whatever. It tastes like a um, an amber. Ooh, what if what if that what if you mixed all cheap beers together? You basically get like a craft, craft beer. beer. Yeah, yeah. You get like a Shiner oh, box. That's that's technically, technically, that's a craft, technically beer. that's a craft beer. That's true. That's true. Uh, in the small definition. Company. Uh, in that the is small cup, also. Small um, we didn't say this in the beginning. All the beers that we drank are American lagers. Are they really? Yes. And they're lager. They're not a pilsner. They're, nope. They're all lagers. So all is that? Does that mean all generally all cheap beer is a lager? I, that is my. That's a good assumption on okay. on that I think would be because I mean when you look at the evidence and the and what's there. Guys, thanks for joining Beacon House and everybody. Let's give a shout out to the members of Burn the City. Not only Brandon and Dylan, but also Randy yes. of yes. Council. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big shout out to the one and only Brandon Hudson, the beer master. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic job. Thanks for having me. I mean, damn. Well, we had you. And then, uh, Y'all and then got me for my, my lovely co-host, Grace Steele. Yes. Doing great. Bringing in the information. You so like us, House. And dispenser <laughs> who has to sit through an hour and a half. I'm going to be able to find the good news. 2,600. And I'd like to say for Beacon House, for our actual host, Spencer. Yeah, I'm doing Spencer, all right. Spencer, my guy! Woo! Yes, Spence. We love right. you. Shreds on we that guitar, you. man. Absolutely. Shreds. Every time. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just throw all the fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I got to piss so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> PBR. Ah!